Meghan and Harry warning new attacks and risks suspects like reality TV stars. Meghan and Prince Harry have been advised against carrying on with their criticism of the royal family. Reputation management expert Edward Coram James argued that you and Duchess of Sussex have to lose both on a professional and personal level if they carry on speaking about their UK-based relatives as they have done in past months. The risk of airing more grievances and unveiling more royal secrets, the commentator said, is for the Sussexes to be likened to reality television personalities. The pair, he suggested, should rather keep a low profile for the time being and work on making a name for themselves as content producers. The co-founder of Go Up told, reputationally, both professionally as well as personally. They will now wish to stop making any attacks on the royal family. From a professional point of view, it will not serve them. They risk looking like reality television personalities that rely on gossip and scandal to remain relevant. And it will detract from their aspirations to be taken seriously in the filmmaking space. Personally, where is their recent book? And series have won them some admirers, polling shows that it has won them even more detractors. The best thing that they can do, from either perspective, is to keep a low profile and go about making some well-produced films. Preferably that focus on their environmental work, their work with veterans and their advocacy for the vulnerable. If such film proves to be high quality and well-watched, then they will earn themselves careers and reputations as filmmakers with actual clout, and not as one-trick ponies. As noted by Mr. Coram James, polls carried out both in the UK and in the US in recent months suggested Meghan and Harry's popularity has dropped among people on both sides of the Atlantic. YouGov polls over the years have suggested Meghan and Harry's popularity among Britons started decreasing noticeably after their interview with Oprah Winfrey in early 2021. On the other hand, a series of polls conducted by Redfield and Wilton for Newsweek suggested that Hugh and Duchess of Sussex's popularity among Americans started being badly affected following the release of their six-part biographical docu-series of Netflix, Harry and Meghan, and the memoir Spare. Mr. Coram James acknowledged that Hugh and Duchess of Sussex currently find themselves in a split position when it comes to their future and how to deal with their difficult relationship with the royal family. He said, there are a number of avenues ahead of them, all of them rocky but some with bright futures and others, not so bright. They have to thread the needle. Their entire brand, down to their last names, is that of being senior royals. Pushing the boat out too far would of course risk fully ostracizing themselves from their family. I am not in a position to comment on this on a personal level, although I imagine that this will be very painful for everyone involved. From a PR point of view, it would cut off their brand at the root. At the moment, Meghan and Harry's entire brand is built on the premise of their royalty. As the pair have yet to fully show what they can do as content producers, Mr. Coram James said. Arguing the success of the first ever product the Sussex is put out. With Netflix may have had to do more with the curiosity people have in their lives and their feud with the firm, the expert added. The Sussexes have not yet proven themselves to be exceptional filmmakers. That is not to say that they are not gifted filmmakers. It's simply to say that it is too early to tell. Since they struck their multi-year deal with Netflix in September 2020, Meghan and Harry have released in December 2022. A doku series focused on their love story and filled with allegations and criticism against the firm and the British media. On the 31st of December, also debuted Live to Lead. A documentary featuring several prominent personalities including climate change activist Greta Thunberg and former New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern focused on leadership and inspiring others to action. The Sussex's organization, Akiwal, announced in April 2021 they were working on another program, Heart of Invictus. Focused on a number of athletes taking part in the Invictus Games held at The Hague last April. Speaking with Gail King on CBS Morning, Oprah was asked her thoughts on whether they will make an appearance and reunite with their family following the release of the all-telling books there and that accuser is, Harry and Meghan. Do you think they should go, do you think they should not go? Is it something you'd like to comment on? I'm listening, remarked Gail, who is also a friend of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. To which, Oprah replied, I think they should do what they feel is best for them and for their family. That's what I think. That's what the bottom line comes down to. 
What do you feel like is the right thing for you? She then added, they haven't asked me my opinion. No, they have not. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.